What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today I'm here to review the Dark Horse Comics Ellie from The Last of Us Part Two with Bo statue. So, this one is actually a pretty rare piece actually. So, it was uh, limited to 500 pieces when it was uh, crafted, and this one actually is in number 200s. It came with a certificate of authenticity, which I will show you guys in this video. And I'm gonna go over everything related to the statue that's relevant. I'm gonna try to keep my opinions of the game as much out of this as possible, but uh, we'll see how successful I am with that. But nonetheless, this is the legit Ellie with Bow statue that comes from Dark Horse that was limited to 500 pieces worldwide. And this one actually sold out within, I believe, under an hour. This popped up actually a while back, you know, I think it was earlier earlier this year or sometime late last year um, when Last of Us 2 was still in hype mode and everyone was concerned about, uh, you know, it coming out and excited and all that. And this popped up and I immediately saw it on my feed while I was at work and I'm like, oh, this ain't gonna last. I saw the addition side of, fi addition size of 500, knew I needed to hop on it. So this guy, uh, this rather this gal, Ellie, is already going for like a thousand dollars on eBay from what I've seen, pretty much around that. I paid a little over 200, maybe like 215, something like that, uh, with shipping included and all that. Uh, I'm very happy with it, you know, just to spoil it for you. Uh, I'm very happy with it for, you know, $200 what I paid. So this one is, pretty much you know two pieces like you have a base here that's about uh 10 inches wide from my understanding i'll correct this you know with a text image if i need to but this statue stands about 12 inches tall so it pretty much stands like a normal hot toys figure um you know most hot toys figures are around 12 inches they're one six in scale i'd say ellie is about you know one six in scale in this uh in this statue here uh, i would say that the paint apps are pretty good overall i mean the tattoo looks nice you can see that she has three arrows in her backpack she's got the machete uh obviously the bow and arrow itself she's got some blood going on there on her face uh and on her neck and there's areas of blood uh spatter in different areas on the statue itself the base actually has the nice logo the last of us part two right there on the front uh her foot actually pegs in to the hole in the middle over there like right there in the middle um so her other foot is kind of in an upwards motion that one just is stationary it's just the uh left foot here that um that pegs into the statue and that one's really easy it's just a it's just a lock-in mechanism you just pop it in it stays in it's nice and secure um other than that i think this outfit is pretty well detailed it is one pretty much sculpted piece this arm the bow holding arm the left arm uh that one actually pops out it pops right in right there um you know the forearm pops right into the arm there so that comes actually as a separate piece this arrow is actually a separate piece as well it screws right into the top little piece there by uh the upwards of the arrow there's actually another piece right in here by her hand uh, it has like a little dot that pegs into a little spot on the arrow there just for more double security in other words so that's kind of nice it's not the most secure setup i wouldn't say this statue is you know designed flawlessly i would say that the arrow holds in pretty well it's not going to move if you don't touch it if you mess with it a little bit it might fall out i've tried screwing it in pretty well uh, as tight as it'll get and i've also pegged in that hole on the bow actually itself it holds the arrow pretty well. I wouldn't say, like I said, that it's perfect, but it works and it's functional. Overall, the paint apps are good. Um, I would say that it is solid. I wouldn't say this is like the best piece that I've ever received, but when I unbox this, I'm really, really happy with it for the price that I paid for it. And the fact that it's going for way more now, uh, even you know my thoughts aside on the game, I can just tell you guys that I did not like this second game at all. The first one is my favorite game of all time, and it's not even close. My favorite story of all time, period. And the second one I felt was a major, major, major letdown and pretty disrespectful to the fans, to be completely frank about it. But I'm, you know, not uh, too angry about it or anything. I just think it was kind of, you know, uh, misleading and not the game that we wanted for most of us. But either way, I'm still happy with the statue and I still love Ellie. Um, not even what they did to Ellie in part two can make me dislike Ellie. So I still love her as a character and uh, Joel as well, of course. So if they end up making a Joel statue, which I doubt, but if they do, I'd get that too, uh, because I'm pretty much getting all things The Last of Us, just not anything Abby related, <laughs> not getting anything Abby related. So, um, yeah, this statue looks really nice. 
Uh, the backpack, like I said, it's all one sculpted piece, pretty much the whole statue. Ellie comes just as one piece. Like I said, her forearm pegs into the slot there. The arrow pops out, you peg that in as well. Very simple. There's really not much you need to do to it besides that. Uh, her hair is, you know, looks good. It looks, like I said, all one sculpted piece. There's not really much to it other than that. The base um, is solid. They got some rocks, some moss growing there, and some grass. It's very, very similar to the base in the collector's edition and Ellie edition that came with the statue of Ellie playing the guitar. I have that one as well. So those two are very, very similar. And I would say that overall, it's a good design. Um, it's solid. It feels stable. It doesn't feel overly cheap. It doesn't feel overly um, like super well made either, but it's good. It's a good piece. And overall, I would say this is statue gets a good grade for me. I would say this is probably like a, you know, eight and a half, nine out of 10 overall. I think just the paint apps are a little bit soft in certain places. It's not the most amazing job I've ever seen. The freckles are kind of missing um, on her face, which are kind of an important part of Ellie's character and just her appearance. Um, but I'd say the other details are good. Um, overall, I would say that, uh, you know, like I said, it's a well-made piece. I would recommend it. I'm not sure, unless you really, really love The Last of Us, especially part two, I'm not sure I would pay a grand for this. I do think that that's quite high for what this is. Um, as a 12 inch tall piece, I'm like I said, I'm happy with it. I'm definitely keeping it. I don't think I'm gonna sell it because I do like it and I do really like Ellie, despite, like I said, what they did to her character. But uh, I think I'm, I'm actually gonna keep this one. I'm gonna put it on display next to the Ellie playing guitar, um, playing guitar statue because I like this piece and I do think it's good. Um, other than that, let me know if you have any questions. I think this is a good piece. I wouldn't say, like I said, that it's perfect, but uh, I'm happy with it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. So if you see one for a decent price, hop on it. But uh, like I said, I don't think I would pay $1,000 for this. That's pretty high. Uh, the fact that it was made only 500, 500 were made. That does make it a little more rare and a little more sought after as a collector's piece, but um, you never know, uh, you know, if it gets too high, they might just make another one, who knows, of a different pose, which will also go for a high price. Um, so yeah, I would say just be on the lookout, but it's a good, it's a good piece overall. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And uh, other than that, this is Wolf Oxification signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video.